To me, the doctrine of biblical perspicuity seems like the doctrine most likely to have been invented by somebody who had never actually read the Bible before. <laughs> like it was somebody who heard of the Bible and they like heard, it's a great book, it's the best book, it's the best book, it's the word of God. Like they heard that and then they came up with the idea of the doctrine and, you know, without any actual contact with the text because this is an, an accurate description of how the biblical text works or functions or how it's put together or anything. So the, the doctrine of biblical perspicuity is the idea that the Bible is clear in, in its strongest, like most maximal form of doctrine of biblical perspicuity would say that the Bible is clear or that the average random layperson could clearly get out of the Bible all major Christian doctrines. It, it would be clear to them on a casual read. And in a more minimally stated way, biblical perspicuity would be like uh, a random average layperson could get everything that's necessary for salvation clearly out of the text, out of a casual read. And I don't, I just don't, I don't think this is the case. I, I, I think either this is blatantly false or you're going to need so many qualifications about what kind of clarity we're talking about and who this random average lay person is as to effectively be pointless. You'll, you'll have qualified it out of existence. Um, and I think some proponents of biblical perspicuity get sort of hung up because there are plenty of passages in the Bible that are clear, that are theologically clear. Um, and I think they look at these passages and they're like, well, you know, we should be able to get doctrine clearly out of the Bible because there are clear passages in Scripture. The problem isn't that Scripture itself is not clear. There are plenty of clear things in Scripture. The problem is that Scripture is clear about so many conflicting and contradictory things. So, for example, you could point to any given passage in the Bible where God is clearly good. God is clearly holy and righteous. Uh, that's not the problem. The problem is that you can also point to passages in Scripture where God is very clearly not good or God is clearly evil. Uh, that's where the lack of clarity comes from. So you can have a biblical text that is itself clear, but nevertheless doctrine is very unclear and requires a lot of theological labor, precisely because the Bible is so clear in conflicting directions. And I think that's a, the situation that we're in with respect to a lot of doctrines and why I think the doctrine of biblical perspicuity just doesn't work. Even with respect to salvation, I mean, I think a lot of proponents, uh, proponents of this are going to look at passages and be like, oh, here clearly we have salvation by faith alone. Well, like if you read one epistle, maybe, but if you read Matthew or James, salvation by faith alone is not what's going to come out of those texts. You're going to get uh, salvation by some variable amount of, of works of some kind. And I think proponents of this doctrine are sort of just expecting that you are going to, you know, square that circle in the same way that they've been trained to square that circle. But there's no reason for some random average layperson to do this. They're going to require this theological framework uh, in order to accomplish that. So I don't think this is a very good doctrine. I don't think it works for scripture. We should just throw it out.